Hey guys, so today we'll be going over the market matrix with a quick rundown. Uh, the, the goal of the market matrix is to give just a detailed overview of the market and price action and uh, kind of the key areas you should be looking for. Now you'll notice visually there are a lot of different zones here. Um, so what we have included is a, a detailed volume profile with uh, the volume levels of both shorts and longs included for each level, as well as a volume um point of control. Now this is where the most volume has has come in and where uh, price is most likely to react uh, since there is a lot of uh, a lot of price action buying and selling there. The next thing you'll see is our resistance and support zones. Now these are machine learning zones and they collect data and find where price has reacted the most and and cluster those together. So you'll see uh, dynamic um, percentages here that signal to you stronger and weaker um, support and, and resistance zones. So the stronger the number, the more likely price action will react there. Uh, and the lower, the more likely it could be broken um, through. You also see we have liquidity zones. Um, liquidity zones are, as you can see here, a wick, uh, price wick down. Now this means that there's a lot of untapped liquidity up here. We've included the volume level um, from that move down as well. So with the liquidity zone, what you want to, want to look for is um, if price were to reach back up to this level, there's a lot of short liquidity that, that is still untapped. So we, we would be looking for a potential short in this area um, for a quick move down before getting out. We've also included the VWAP, which is the volume weighted average price. And this is just a very universally um, valued area of where price likes to return. So you would want to use the VWAP to either see if price can break up or below it or as a potential support uh, or resistance. So we had price break through VWAP here. Now, if it were to come back down and retest, that could be a good area for um, a potential entry for a long if the VWAP does hold price there. Now, the main key area you'll see is a reversal zone here. Now what that is, is that's the 618 Fibonacci zone, which is a universally valued zone uh, across all traders, and which is very commonly used. And this zone traders like to use for, to look for pullbacks in the market to get in. And so you can see here, this visually adapts to your chart. So if you move your chart, um, the reversal zone will adapt um, to what are, whatever pivots you have on your chart, which a pivot is the high and low. So you can see our high pivot would be here in the price action and our low would be here. So that's telling us based on those pivots, the reversal zone would be right here. And you can see that worked out perfectly uh, as well. Um, and you can see that worked out perfectly as price came right down to the reversal zone, our, our 618 fib and reacted immediately. Um, the, this is just a very strong psychological zone as well, and it, it's based, based in mathematics. You can be our guide to really get a detailed uh, rundown of what the this reversal Fibonacci zone is, also known as the golden pocket. But price is very likely to always react uh, when it reaches this 618 zone. Now with this zone, the more uh, the more candles and data you have on your chart, the stronger this zone will be. So, so this would be considered a really strong reversal zone. Now, if we were to um, scroll in a lot, uh, a lot closer to price action, you'll see the zone adapt. So now it's adapted to the high and low on our chart now, our low pivot here and our high pivot here. And you can see our new reversal zone is here around these uh, supports as well. Now this is still considered a 618 fib, but it, you, we wouldn't want to consider it as strong uh, of a reversal zone as, as the previous one that's based on more uh, historical data, but we could still use this as a reference point as well. You also see a lot of labels uh, above and below the candles. So you can see here we have an LG that stands for a liquidity grab. Um, that's uh, similar, similar to this. So you saw we had a spike down here signaling um, a lot of liquidity, liquidity was grabbed from this candle. So what we'd want to see is either a return to that, that area and another move down. So right here, we could have got in for a potential short. You also see we have smart money concepts included with the market matrix to, 
to give you uh, more guidelines when you're trading uh, in between these bigger support and resistance zones. Now, the main thing with market matrix is we've included this dashboard at the top here. Now, this is all based on um, reversal confluence. So you can see we have um, high time frame and low time frame trade biases. These are just a mixture of daily and hourly um, moving averages that signal if it's if it's better to be looking for longs in the market or shorts. Uh, so having both longs here, that's telling us we're more than likely in, in somewhat of a bull market and should be only looking to get in on pullbacks and that getting in on shorts are a little bit more riskier. So you can see we have a number of different confluences here. Now, if you notice these green dots and these red dots on the chart, now what that is, is that's these different confluence options all signaling at the same time. Not all, but a certain number that you have set that need to be triggered. So if you go to our settings and look here, you can set the number of conditions for, for an alert uh, from this dashboard here. So for a long, we have six different confluence options need to be triggered at one time to give us an alert. You can see here these three dots. Now this is the dashboard, all these confluence options. That's six of them triggering at the same time, telling us it could be a good area in price action to be looking to get in long. Now, let's, if we replay back to this area, we'll get a more detailed view. So you can see when price was here, you can see all of these that were triggered long at the same time. So the more that are, are signaling long or short, a, a, bit, a higher chance that you're gonna see a reversal in price. Now, the reason this signal was so strong is because not only do we have all of these confluence options triggering at the same time telling us uh, that price action was looking for a reversal, but it hit exactly in our, our reversal zone as well. So that, that is a, a perfect opportunity uh, to be getting in long in this market because you're at the 618 FIB and you have all these very value technicals telling you that the market could be primed for a long position there. Now the market matrix is pretty straightforward. There's really uh, nothing in settings that you need to tweak or anything. It's more so just visual effects. If you want to customize the way it kind of looks on your chart or the only thing you could really change is uh, the number of zones or the data that, that the, the AI support and resistance zones are using to look back to calculate the strength. But other than that, the only thing you're really going to want to mess with is, is your confluence and short alerts. Um, that's really the only thing that's going to affect the market matrix overall. But that's pretty much the rundown of market matrix. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, it's just feeding you uh, the information and, and taking all the manual work out for you. So you can just trade how you want. Uh, again, this is paired really well with our other tools to add more confluence, to filter, uh, and really trade how you want.